In this assignment, we're going to use uh, layer styles and distort filters in Photoshop to make a logo. I'm going to make a spoof on this Lucky Charms. It's going to have like that 3D look to it with a beveled edge. And so I'm going to teach you how to do that in Photoshop. So the first thing you need to do is open up your document and get it to the right size. And then I'm going to a place called FontShop dot com slash tryout. I don't have a font that I want so you can use this website to type the name of your serial in there. Mine is called Chucky Harms. I know that the font that I want to use is called Gumbo. So I'm going to go ahead and type that but you're welcome to try a bunch of different fonts or use one that you already have in your computer if you want. So I'm going to enlarge this as large as possible. So I'm clicking that up arrow and I'm making it really big because I'm just going to take a screenshot of it. So I have it at a big size. You guys can use the snipping tool in your computer to take a image of it. And then you're going to go into Photoshop and open up that image. So I'm going to get the magic wand tool and I'm going to click in the first word, get all the black letters. I'm just going to do mine one word at a time and copy it and paste it in. The reason why I'm doing one word at a time is because I want to put the two lines of text closer together. So I'm going to paste my second word in there. You can see that they're on different layers. Now I'm going to arrange them to be spaced how I want and get the right size. Press enter when I'm done. Now I'm going to select both of them by holding the shift key and go to layer, merge layers, which is control E. Now I have them on one layer. I have both my words. So I, looking at the Lucky Charms logo, I see that it's kind of bent a little bit and distorted. So I'm going to go up and use this tool, press Control T first, then get that tool that, the, that I showed at the top. And then you can pull these corners and pull these handles around and distort things to make it look kind of like it's at an angle or it's curved a little bit. I'm not going to make mine look exactly like that, but it gives the same effect basically. So you just pull all these handles and then when you have it the way you want, you can press enter or the check mark at the top. I'm just going to pull this in a little bit more so it's fairly close to the Lucky Charms and then press enter. All right, so now I have that on a separate layer and I want to go ahead and color it. So I'm going to go select, load selection to get those black letters. I'm going to get the eyedropper and click on the yellow and then say fill. Make sure the contents say foreground color to match the yellow. Make it normal, 100% opacity. Press OK. Now I want to get the eyedropper and get that darker yellow orange color and I'm going to get a brush with zero hardness so it's a soft brush and then I'm going to fade in that darker yellow orange color at the bottom just like the Lucky Charms logo has. Get a little bit bigger brush so it blends and then hit the bottom of it just like that logo has. Alright and then you can press Control D when you're done. Now I have that lettering and the color I want. Now I need to add some layer styles to it. You can either press the FX on the layers palette or you can go up to the layer menu and choose layer style. I'm going to start off I'm just going to go ahead and click it on the bottom of the layers tab. That's where I normally do it. So I'm going to click on bevel and emboss and you can um, change the settings to be whatever you want. I already did this earlier so I have mine set the way I want. I'm going to add a stroke which is an outline and I already chose the color and the size earlier so that you didn't have to wait for me to experiment on all these things. But you add the plus to make more stroke layers and I add them all in different colors. I make the last one bigger. I'm going to change that red a little bit. But I make the last stroke bigger so they're basically just different outlines getting bigger and bigger. So for the next part of this video I'm going to show you how I make like these sparkle looking things that the Lucky Charms logo has. You don't need to watch the rest of this video if you don't need to know how to do that. So you can just go ahead and work on your logo. You don't need to watch this. But if you want to know how I make the sparkle looking things, I'm going to make a new layer. So you can go to layer, new layer, or click the plus at the bottom of the layers palette. And then I'm going to get white and I'm going to make a really small white dot with a soft white brush. 
So I'm just going to click a little white dot there. And then I'm going to get the lasso tool. And I'm going to hold the Alt key while I make these really skinny little triangle shapes that come out of the center of that dot. I'm just going to make kind of a plus with pointy ends to it. And then I'm going to say Edit, Fill, and make it white. And then I'm going to copy and select that and then copy and paste that little plus thing. And then do Control T and rotate it a little bit. All right, and then I'm going to shift click both of those layers and press Control E or Layer, Merge Layers to make those sparkle on one layer. Now I need to copy that and make a bunch of them. So I'm going to name my layer Sparkle. Then I'm going to get the Select tool and select that and do Control C, Control V, and then Control T to move it around and press Enter. So I'm just going to paste several different layers of these sparkles and using Control T to move them around on different letters so that they highlight different letters on here. So you don't have to do that, but it's just an extra little trick. Also, you'll notice on the Lucky Charms logo there's a rainbow, but I'm going to skip that. Now I'm going to shift click all my layers and go to Merge Layers, Control E. So now my logo is all in one layer and I'm going to delete all the other layers so I just have my logo. Then I'm going to go to Save As and I'm going to choose PNG, which is for Transparent Background. You can make it just a Photoshop file or a PNG. Either one of those are transparent backgrounds. And so now I'll be able to copy and paste that and put it on my cereal box when I'm ready and I'll add the rainbow when I get to my box.